Hey guys, so just before we get into today's video, I have recorded really far ahead, so we have the opportunity to do a couple of double upload days. So, if we can hit 10 likes on this video in 24 hours, so before 5.30pm, we will do a double upload on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. So, we'll have the regular video at 5.30 and then a second video at 6pm, if this video gets 10 likes. Sorry for doing this at the start of the video, but honestly, I just figured more people watch the start than the end, so it seems like the better place to put it, I'm not gonna lie. So, let's crack on with today's video. Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of our FM19 journeyman in charge of Troys in the Domino's League at Duh. And, well, today we have games against Stard Lavaloy and Reims. And if you may remember, Stard Lavaloy were initially in about ninth when we when we started, when we took over. They've now dropped to 12th, so they're in not a great run of form. Potentially a chance here for us to pick up a decent result. And if we can do so, we can try to claw our way out of the relegation zone. Or we'll actually definitely do so. We're a game in hand on everybody else they've played before us. So a win today would put us on 27 points and out of the relegation zone, including the playoff places. Which would be quite huge to have, like, got to that point already. That would be a really nice thing to hit. So, this is the team we're going with. It's relatively standard. But you may remember we had a suspension to Derek Asede for too many yellow cards. So, Gargo, who has been playing the Anchorman role, has moved to the Segundo Volante. And Elan Bordas, who was injured until now, is back in the side playing as that Anchorman. He's, he's going to get back to it today and hopefully, well, he can impress. We haven't seen him play yet, so... I'm quite excited for that one. Other than that, though, everything else is relatively standard. So we're going to submit the team. We're going to get stuck into things. And hopefully we can pick up some good results here. But the teams we're playing are still a lot higher in the table than us. So it's certainly not going to be easy. Now, they've got a 4-4-2 lined up here. But the thing you'll realise is this guy here, their second striker, he's an attacking midfielder. And then both of their um, wide midfielders are actually wingers. So it does make me question why they didn't just go with like a similar formation to ours, but with the the central midfielders being more central, as opposed to this, where just a bunch of players are out of position. But it's not really affected our tactics. We're not focusing down any one side or anything like that. So we're going to say that we owe starred... I don't know what happened in our last match. Um, this is your chance to go... Oh, what a reaction. Okay. This reaction to prove the media wrong, and everybody really liked that. Obviously, when you're getting battered, the media are going to hound you. The players want to get rid of that, so we regard any potential advantage as a positive. Yeah, sure. Uh, both teams now come into this with a spell of poor form. It's a great opportunity to check for malaise. I love that because you just get to say malaise. How often do you get to use that word? But let's get this underway, and hopefully we can put in a good performance and prove that we are not worthy of relegation. No highlights. No highlights at all in that first half. We are at half time, and well, it's a relatively even game so far. The only thing really swinging it too much is there's a bit of difference in possession. And we've picked up an extra yellow card right on the death of half time. But other than that, it is currently nil nil. And I'd quite like to actually to pull this up. And mm, I don't really know what to say here. I'm actually just going to hand it over to my assistant who didn't actually get a reaction. That's not good. I wasn't quite sure whether we, this is a game we should be going out there to win or whether they'd be reasonably happy with it only being nil nil at, at half time. So I wasn't quite sure what to do. I, try, I hoped my assistant would be able to sort of bail me out of that one, and unfortunately, it wasn't the case. Just over an hour in then, and we're just not seeing anything. Now, no Ace Stefan is complacent. He's not playing well. He's on a 6.3. I'm going to bring on Vita Gabriel and see if we can just change something up top. And, well, he's obviously having a poor game. Hopefully, we can try and change that. Now, Brian and Wembo also not having the best time out there. He's probably looking like he might be the next substitute, but for now... I'm going to keep it as it is, just with that one change up top. And, well, there is a highlight, but it's looking like it's going to be in their favour as they're working it outside our box. They strike. It's a good save, though. We put it out for a corner. My Sonny all there doing a good bit of work. And, well, hopefully this doesn't result in anything. They don't tend to after a highlight, but for let heads clear. They've maintained possession, though, only getting it as far as them. We try to clear again. Again, it falls to them. This is getting a little bit dangerous. Now we really need to try and reclaim this ball, hold on to it, and stop just giving it back to them. Well, the highlight fades out. It doesn't actually result in anything, but there is another one here. They've got a goal kick. I was tempted there. You may have seen my mouse hovering over to the top right. I was tempted to make a change, but we'll see how this plays out first. As they're in possession of the ball, and Bordas, after just coming back from injury, it's his first game back, has gone and picked up a red card with 20 minutes remaining, or just over that. That's not good. That is not good at all. The question now lies in, do we... Go less attacking and just try to maintain what we've got and take the point. Or do we do we still try and go for this? I think 
oh, it's not an easy decision. It really isn't. But I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try and keep the point here. Try and keep what we've got. He's really not very good as a as a defensive midfielder for someone who can sort of play there a little bit. Um. Oh, we don't have great options. I'm really not gonna lie. This is this is not great. Hold on. Gabriel Lopez can play there. How can he? Oh, not great either. This is not ideal. This is very much not ideal. I'm going to bring him on as a deep line playmaker on defend and then move Gargo off of the Segundo Volante to the anchor man and just try and shield our back four a little bit. And then I'm also going to bring on, while we're at it, I'm going to bring on Alexis Flips on this right-hand side for Mbembo and just try and get that changed. That's now all three of our substitutions used. We've been the better side so far. We've had more of the chances, but... That red card is going to be an absolute game changer and we're really going to need to just try and... Well, if we can try and create something in these last couple of minutes, we might be able to just nick a winner. But, well, the added time is going to whiz by and I think all things considered, you know, they're they're higher in the table than us. We did get a red card with, you know, a good chunk of game still to go. A point is not a bad result as we just watched this last bit of gameplay click, like, just sort of play out, really. I doubt anything's going to come of it, but they have got a chance here. Ragel, we clear... Just about. Pele gets it up the pitch. And come on, referee. This is a joke. We're well over the time. They're still in possession of the ball. Still trying to work it forward. And there we go. No? No? Really? We're just going to spend about nine years waiting for the game to end, are we? Hello? Thank you. Jesus. That took that just took a while. It's, it's not a great result. I think it is one we could have gone out there and taken, to be honest. And, well, you can see here, we were pretty dominant in terms of our shots, our shots on target. But... After we got that red card, they matched us pretty much exactly. It's difficult. I'm going to be assertive and say you were unlucky. Ah, oh, got a couple of players motivated, but nowhere near as good as I would have liked. Um, I don't know. I just feel like we played quite well until we got that red card, and then everything just sort of collapsed on us. That is going to leave us in 19th in the relegation zone with Reigns coming up, and that was potentially one of the more winnable games we had left, and picking up a win there would have been... Well, it would have been pretty huge, to say the least. But there's still chances here for us to claw it out of this. And we've highlighted this before, but this first sort of run of games from when we took over, from Havre down to sort of Lorient, is going to be quite difficult. And then we start to get a couple of the easier teams, you know, like Chambly Oise are down in bottom of the league. Uh, it's a game we sort of need to win. There's a, still a couple of good teams littered for, throughout, but like US Orleans aren't that great either down in 15th. Clermont are up in 6th, who we've obviously already played in the Cup. It's going to be testy. This last game of the season against Red Star could decide everything. But we still have another game today as we have two red cards. Two suspensions, Elan Bordas and Rafa Navarro. It's not going to make it easy. Let's get to the game. So here we are then for the next game against Reims. And once again, we find ourselves a game in hand. And you'll see if you take a look at the league table here. If we win today, we will rise out of the relegation zone. And also, Reims are in a shocking run of form. Their manager is being talked of being sacked. And, well, yeah, they're just not doing too well. They've only won one of their last three. They've also had a couple of other poor results recently, and their wins haven't been that convincing. For example, Nior are down with us, and they've only beaten them 1-0. Chambly Oise are bottom of the league, and it's only a 1-0 win again. So, yeah, they're not doing fantastically so far. They're struggling to beat clubs that are down with us. And truthfully, I don't think we should be down with us, as little sense as that makes. So, I'm a little bit optimistic. Not massively so, because, I probably should go through this, the squad's having to rotate a little bit. So our right back and anchorman are suspended. That is um, Navarro and Elan Bordas. You'll see down here, Bordas is actually out for two games. Navarro just the one. And, well, it's it's not ideal. So, Bayai, 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 that's his name, Bayai, and Gargo have came back into the side. Derek Asade is playing the Segundo Volante role, but he has recently picked up an injury. He was He's recovered today. Like, he is, he, the injury mark of him has gone today. So, he's not fully fit, to say the least. It's going to be a challenge. It's not an ideal situation. Now, if we go through to their team here... There is something which I've noticed, and it's sort of affected our tactics a little bit. They've got this guy at centre-back, who is a defensive midfielder. He's a half-back. And so I'm hoping we can exploit that, because if you have a look, he's really not natural here. He's not that comfortable playing. And then also, they've got these two here, who aren't really... Like, they're playing in sort of a defensive midfield role, but they're not really sorted to it, I think. So they might actually be just playing centre-midfield, but either way, they're both quite forward players, like... 
he prefers to be a deep lying playmaker, an advanced playmaker, and Mazala are box to box. And then you've got the guy next to him, he's an advanced playmaker, deep lying, Mazala, roaming playmaker. There's no defensive solidity in that midfield. And then they've got a defensive midfielder at centre half. I'm hoping we can exploit that. Also, this guy has a massive head. Um, let's get into the let's get into the game and let's passionately say let's this is a great opportunity to show all the critics they're wrong. And again, this has a very good reaction. The players are obviously bothered by the fact that the, the press is being so hard on them. He's not ready to start this match because of his injury and because of Wembo's a better player, but we won't say that. And they look like they're wearing the Ajax kit. There is a highlight here. Rebel is on the ball, and they're going to look to try and work it forward. And so far, doing a decent job of going so. And that is a brilliant ball out to the left. They cross in, and the header goes just over the bar. That was a great ball forward there. Well, really did create a lot of spent uh, space behind our defence. And so far, well, we're getting pretty heavily peppered. Hopefully, we can weather this storm and start to strike back soon. A corner for them, and, well, we're still struggling big time here. We clear, and you'll see again here, look, we're getting absolutely peppered and struggling to create much of our own. It's difficult so far, as they've got another corner. Conan's going to put it in again. Can we get it clear? No. Udin manages to get the shot away, fires it into the back of the net, and we are now playing from behind. It's going to be a struggle to try and come back into this game. Obviously, despite their recent form, they are still much higher in the table than us, and their recent form is still better than ours. So... It's still going to be a difficult game. I'm hoping, though, we can maybe try and find a way back into it if we can just start to get some more chances created. Half-time here, then, and nothing since the goal, and we are still struggling big time. I'm going to go out there aggressively and say I expect to see a much better showing from you. They all look quite fired up at that. And what I am going to do is, because nothing seems to be working, I'm going to sort of just rotate where our, where our chances are coming from. So I'm going to put Berger as a shadow striker, drop Mbembo down to a supporting inside forward, and then maybe... I'd like to do something with Stefan and try and get him a bit more... Just make him a pressing forward on attack as opposed to an advanced forward. Play him a little bit deeper and see if we can get anything from him that way. Now, we're not doing fantastically so far, but there's still a half left. Still a half to try and come back into it. Hopefully, we can find a way to do that. But they've got a free kick here. Conan takes. And they've gone 2-0 up. Rodrigo Guth with his first goal of the season from the free kick. It's knocked on by their player, by Udin, who scored the first one. Ah, uh, this is a rough game. It's just one of those games where we're just not creating anything and we just seem a little bit outclassed, to be honest. It's a good header across the box. And what is presumably the other centre-half, uh, not that I quite remember. Yep, he's a centre-half. He's massive. And he manages to win the header with ease and put it in. And they've got another set piece. It's another corner. Well, we do manage to claim, actually. Pele's on it. Can we maybe find a goal to try and fight our way back into this game? It's a good ball forward, but it doesn't find anyone. Stefan can't get on the end of it. And, well, they're just working it very easily now. But Lopez wins it well. Pele to Koulibaly. Come on, let's try and build something. Let's have some good build-up. Try and find a nice chance and try and put this away. As Berger's dropped deep, slides through Pele. Berger again. Can he find a, a pass, a shot, anything? By eye on the right-hand side. The substitute right-back goes for a cross, but it's blocked. And now it seems as though they're back in possession and the highlight may be in their favour. After all that, after all that promise, all that chance that we had there to create something. No, Derek Asede has picked up a red card. This is a joke, because that's another two-match suspension for him, I believe. <sighs> we need to do something about our tactics regarding our fouling, because this is getting a bit out of hand. This is a second red card in two games. It's a nightmare. We're going to have major suspension issues. I'm just going to move Gargo into the centre. We need to try and create chances. We can't. There's no point in going defensive when, well, when we're just not ahead. There's no point, or not even level. Conan puts in a free kick. It's a great save by Mysonio, who did excellently there to hang on to that ball. We're still struggling big time, though. We're still not creating too much, but we do see this highlight out, and maybe there is a chance we can get something. As Mbwembo runs down the right inside, goes for a cross, finds Pele on the back post. He slides in a goal. It's back to 2-1. We only have 10 men, but we have leveled, well, not leveled the score, but we've taken that step to getting back into this game. There's a chance. There is a very slight chance here. It's a great ball by Mbembo there. Picks out Pele perfectly. And the shot, I mean, it just completely wrong ways the keeper. He just sort of falls over trying to get to it. Very well taken and great combination of our wingers there. A highlight straight after kickoff. If we can win this back, can we maybe find an equaliser? Or is it going to fall in their favour as they pump it back to their keeper? They're going to look to build up. If they play this long, can we maybe win this ball? No. But Mbembo does win the loose one. And, well, can we maybe strike here? We tried to play it back to Bayai, but the ball is awful. We lose possession with way too much ease. They're now coming forward, and Bembo with a wonderful challenge there, but they're still through on goal. They slide it across, and it's a good strike into the back of our net. And Bembo there, so unfortunate, put through an absolutely sublime challenge, but it just fell to their player and really helped their attack, which is 
quite unfortunate. I mean, you'll see here, for a winger especially, that is a wonderful bit of play, but uh, it just fell to them. It's just it's just a shame, really, when things like that happen. And my Sonny, he did his best there, and to get a hand to that is actually quite impressive, but he still, he still sees the ball in the net, which is problematic, to be honest. Let's tell him to get creative. We need to try and find something, and a change should probably be on the cards too. Let's go with Ali San... Oh, no, we can't take off from Bambo, right? Vita Gabriel again, maybe? It, no, it's Stefan. He's having a really tough time of it lately. He's really not doing much at all. So, yeah, let's bring on Vita Gabriel. And let's bring him on. Let's keep him as that pressing forward and see if we can find anything this way. So, we're still seeing absolutely nothing. And I really don't know what the solution here is. Uh, we don't really have a left winger to bring off Brian Pelle. who's a little bit injured and also struggling a little bit for fitness. Um, I'm going to go to Gargo just being a... What can we make him that would be sort of more... More useful. You can't obviously play a, a solo Segundo Volante, so let's go for a halfback. No, that seems that doesn't seem helpful. Let's go for a supporting defensive midfielder and just try just try to find anything to find a way back into this game. But as time's flying by, they have a throw in. Can we win this ball? We can. Bayai tries to play it up, but it just falls to them again. We can't get on the second one. And, well, it looks like they're going to have another chance here as they put in a good cross. And that is the easiest goal of all time. It's a very good cross from Jaquo. And the the shot is simple. It's straight at the keeper. Oh, sorry. It's straight, like, in front of the goal. He really can't miss. And the result feels a little bit harsh, to be honest, because we haven't necessarily been terrible. Like, we've just really... The red cards really hurt us for a start. And we just couldn't create anything at all. I think we've done well to defend to only concede four, considering the amount of shots that they've had as they score a fifth. I think we've done well to only concede five, considering the... Furtado gets his second goal of the season, because of course he does. And, well, it's... This hurts. I don't want to watch it. Go away. I don't want to see your goal. They've had 21 shots and 13 on target. We have just been thoroughly outplayed here. As there's another highlight, I just don't want to know. I really just don't want to know what's going to happen. They play it forward. Kiel gets onto it on this left-hand side. And this strike is 6-1. This is absolutely... The one thing we sort of had at the minute is that our goal difference wasn't bad. It was only like minus 9, which is fine. This has killed that. We're now on minus 14. And, well, the problem has got a lot bigger with this result, to be honest. Again, I don't want to see it. Just get me out of this game. I don't want to be here anymore. As well, they're going to play forward a ball. My Sonny will claim it. And hopefully we can just put this game to bed and move on to the next one, to be honest. As we get absolutely upturned, just with ease, to be honest. They really just absolutely bodied us. As Berger strikes, fair play to him. Uh, the ball comes all the way from the keeper. Their defender can't get on the end of it. And Berger just absolutely runs. He doesn't give up, to be fair. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice bit of fight to see, you know, to still play for it when you're 6-1 down. They, keep, they try to head back to their keeper, and Berger just pounces, strikes. He salvages a little bit, right? It's a consolation goal. It's It it's makes the goal difference slightly less terrible. It, it's I don't know what to say. This has been an absolute mare of a game. We've had a lot of players out, and we're going to have even more out for the next game, I believe, because, unless I'm mistaken, a Sede and... Elan Bordas will both be out for the next game, so we may have to have a tactical shake-up just a little bit, just for a temporary measure until our players come back. But that was a disaster. That is an absolute mare. Um, aggressive, not happy, obviously. Look at 5.2, 5.8, 6, just shocking. Awful all around. Fair play to Brian Pele and Brian and Bembo, and Gregory Berger, actually, for salvaging ratings out of that that were higher than 6.5. Um, somebody had to, I guess. But, well, we got absolutely played off the park. It's there's The less we say about this, the better, to be honest. And Brian, Brian Pelle is injured for one to two days because, you know, we need more players out. That, that'll that help. Wait, no, no, no. That's the worst thing that could possibly have happened. I said he's only banned for one match. So that's not, not terrible. Apart from the fact that that one match is against Auger, who are in second. And we're missing both our defensive midfielders. Wow. This is going to be a time. This is definitely going to be an experience. Um, if you enjoy watching us get battered, tune in for that. Because, well, there's a good chance it could happen again. Now, because the teams around us are all as rubbish as we are, we're still not buried at any point. But we need to turn this around soon. When that's going to be, I have absolutely no idea, but I'm hoping it can be at some point in the near future. 
Thank you all very much for watching. No wins today, but hopefully we can find our way to winning ways and saving this club from relegation soon. Tomorrow's video will be up at 5.30. We've had a lot of new people lately. The channel sort of went mad over the weekend and we grew by like over 10% of our size. And if you're new, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord. Every video goes in there. And well, I'm going to wrap this up because to be honest, that was a nightmare. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and yeah, catch you all then. Goodbye.